video on easy math okay saturday on the schedule today we are going to release a topic on strike hands <music> straight line all of you may have known about lines right okay how can we define them how can we express them in the form of formulae okay today let's discuss about that okay now first definition of a straight line what is a straight line straight line means a curve such that every point on the line segment joining any two points on it lies on it okay this line is pretty confusing okay straight line means a curve okay you may ask it is not a curve it is in the straight it is according to the definition so straight line is a curve such that every point on the line segment joining any two points on it means let there be two points on that curve straight line curve and then every point on that line segment lies on that curve too okay means that if we connect two points then we should draw a line segment between those two points means that line segment will be part of that line means in other words line segment is a part of a straight line from this definition we can find that okay now there is a theorem to as express the equation of a straight line that that theorem proves that every first degree equation in x represents a straight line okay for proving we can use mathematical induction to prove this okay now by mathematical induction if we take two points let's express that in the same way as the definition let's take two points and let's build a line segment between those and let's take a point on the line segment which will be varying so we should take a variable on that line segment a varying point on that line segment and that point should be on that line too okay now let's take two points x1 y1 x2 y2 the equations will be as follows x1 ax1 plus by1 plus c is equal to 0 ax2 plus by2 plus c is equal to 0 Okay, now if we take a point in between that and let, let's take the ratio as lambda is to 1. Here lambda is any constant. You can take A, B or C or D something. But let's take lambda in this case for easy understanding. Now let's take lambda is to 1. Lambda is to 1. Because if we convert that if we find the coordinates of r, if there is one, it will be easy. So, let's find the coordinates. What they will be? As you know, if there is a ratio, ratio of a point which divides a line segment. Now, if we convert that into the coordinates of r, there is a formula mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n. My2 plus Ny1 by M plus N. So if you take in the form of that, it becomes lambda Y2 plus X1 by lambda plus 1, comma lambda Y2 plus Y1 by lambda plus 1. They are the coordinates of R. Okay, now this is the there are X coordinate and Y coordinates, and those two will be if we substitute those coordinates in the equation, we should get zero, right? So, let's take those coordinates in the equation form. It becomes A into lambda x2 plus x1 by lambda plus 1 plus B into, you'll get that equation. And then, if we take lambda plus 1 as the denominator commonly, then it becomes, here C plus 1 will be multiplied by lambda plus 1. Means you will get two C's, lambda C and 1 C or C. And then, here you will get lambda in lam lambda ax2 and lambda by2. So if you take lambda common from those, you will get ax2 plus by2 plus c. Because there is a lambda c2. Okay. Then denominator we will get lambda plus 1. And we will get another one ax1 plus by1 plus c. By lambda plus 1. Okay. Now here as we 
take the equations before ax2 plus B, by2 plus c is 0 and ax1 plus by1 plus c is also 0. It becomes lambda into 0 plus 0 by lambda plus 1. Or there is no use if we not mention the 2. Comes lambda 0 plus 0 means it will be 0. Therefore, or the coordinates are lambda x2 plus x1 by lambda plus 1, lambda y2 plus y1 by lambda plus 1. Lies on the curve represented by ax plus by plus c. Means their lambda can be varying, right? So, the every point on the line segment join P and Q lies on ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So, ax plus by plus c represents a straight line. Now, how can we take that as a theoretical? Means from the above discussion, ax plus by plus c is 0, is general equation of straight line. Should be noted that there are only two unknowns in the equation of straight line because the equation of every straight line can be put in the form of ax plus by plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, what is the meaning of this? This one means that in a straight line, there is only a possibility of at least two unknowns or two variables. How, how is this possible? Okay, if you have ax plus by plus c, then if we divide with c, then it becomes in the form of a by cx plus b by cy plus 1. So, here we have only two unknowns, a by c and b by c. If you take them as some a by c as x and b by c as a by c as p and b by c as q and we have only two unknowns, right? That is the meaning of this. And x comma y are not unknowns. They are just, they are just coordinates. If x varies, then ax plus by plus 1 is equal to 0 is the condition and y varies according to that condition. Straight line is a locus of point y which satisfies the condition of x which is which will be varying slope or gradient of a line okay slope you all know about slope one side will be high and the other side will be down that is called a slope and a value which mentions the bend of that line is called slope of a line. Okay, now slope means the tangent of the angle made by the line with positive with x axis in the anti clockwise direction. Okay, why they mention anti clockwise direction? Because angle is measured in anti clockwise direction, right? So, the angle that line makes with the positive direction of x-axis in anti-clockwise direction and the tangent of that, you all know what tan, right? This is called as slope or gradient of the line. Okay, how can we denote a slope? We should denote anything by some letter. So, if we take that, a slope is generally mentioned by m. m is equal to tan theta as we mentioned before okay what if a line is parallel to x-axis okay if a line is parallel to x-axis that means that angle is zero okay how is this possible how can a parallel line make an angle okay a parallel line means that a line that does not meet. If we take the concept of infinity, and infinity is not a value, right? So the line touches at infinity. The meaning of parallel means that those lines touches at infinity. Okay, how they touch? Okay, if we rotate the line with an infinitesimally small value means it may be 0 0.00001 degrees or we can mention that like 10 power minus 100 or infinitesimally small if we rotate the line by infinitesimally small value 
then those lines meet at infinite right so then the angle will be an infinitesimally small value near zero so it will be zero so if your line is parallel to x axis it makes a slope of tan zero degrees which is nothing but zero but then what if line is parallel to y axis Okay, if a line is parallel to y-axis, it makes 90 degrees with the x-axis. So, the slope of that will be not defined because tan 90 is not defined. If a line is inclined with the axis, equally inclined with the axis means the distance from x-axis and from the y-axis is equal. Then the slope of that will be 1 or minus 1 because in that case, it should be 45 degrees to x-axis or 185 degrees. Tan 45 is 1 and tan 185 is minus 1. x1, y1 and x2, y2 are ordinates of any point on the line. Then its slope. How can we find that? There are two coordinates and we should find this slope. Okay, now if we take this line as an example. Now here it makes an angle theta with in anticlockwise direction with x. And in this logically, what aspects do you need to define the slope of a line with two points on the line given? Okay, you may think we can take like this directly, but it is not possible to solve like that so we will take a line parallel to y axis and a line parallel to x axis from p and a line parallel to y axis from q to form a triangle p n q okay then we can define tan easily right what is mean by tangent okay on video on trigonometry we said that tangent means opposite side by adjacent side comes q n by p n okay how can we define them okay q n q n means it is q n minus m n so if you take parallel the distance m n is y1 and the distance q m is y2 so it will be y2 minus y1 and similarly here it will be L O is X1 and M O is X2. So L M X2 minus X1. So tangent will be Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. Means difference of ordinates. Ordinates means the coordinates of on Y axis. By difference of abscissae means the coordinates on X axis. So, difference of ordinates by difference of abscissae. How to find the angle between two lines? Okay, now let's take angle theta between these lines of slopes m1, m2 is given by tan theta is equal to plus or minus m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1, m2. Okay, now we should take an anticlockwise direction. So, this will be the picture of those lines. Then here, let the angle between the angle between line passing through C and D and X axis is theta 2 and line passing through B and A and the angle of that with X axis be theta 1. Then the angle between two lines be theta. Okay theta 2 is equal to theta plus theta 1. Now we need theta. What will be theta? Theta is equal to theta 2 minus theta 1. Okay, now if you take tangent of those angles, it becomes tan theta. Okay, why we took tangent? Because we need slope. Slope is mentioned by tangent. So, tan theta is equal to tan theta 2 minus theta 1. Okay, it is in the form of tan alpha minus beta is nothing but tan alpha minus tan beta by 1 plus tan alpha tan beta. So it will be tan theta 2 
minus tan theta 1 by 1 plus tan theta 1 tan theta 2. So tan theta 2 means that is nothing but the slope of the second line which is m2. Tan theta 1 which is nothing but slope of the first line m1. So you can derive that easily. Okay, let's see the derivation. Okay, now in the same way theta 2 is equal to theta plus theta 1. Theta is equal to theta 2 minus theta 1. Tan theta is equal to if you apply tan on both sides you will get this. Tan theta is equal to m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 m2. Since angle APD is equal to pi minus theta is also angle between AB and CD. Okay, how is that angle? You will get the same route. If we take these two lines, then what will be? There will be so many angles in between them. This theta is an angle and the angle BPC is one angle and the angle D angle DPA will be another angle. The angle DPB will be another angle. So, 90 minus theta is also, so 180 minus theta or pi minus theta is also angle. What is tan pi minus theta? It is minus tan theta, right? So, you will get tan pi minus theta is equal to minus tan theta, which is minus. So, we will get plus or minus m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 m2. So, from 1 and 2, we can find that. The angle between two lines of slopes m1 and m2 is given by tan theta is equal to plus or minus m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 m2. So theta is equal to tan inverse of that. Okay now, if it is acute angle, acute angle means less than 90 degrees. So less than 90 degrees, we will have only positive value. So it will be modulus of m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 m2. Because before, we discussed the proof without seeing that. Means we imagine what will be the proof. Okay, you may ask, why is that? What is the use of that? Every time, if you see a formula and if you try to derive that, then it will increase your logical thinking and your mathematical solvings. So, every time prefer of imagining Imaginating how to derive that formula before. For deriving, we need so many aspects. Using those aspects, use application of mathematics too. Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Ring that bell icon. It notifies you when I release a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video. Or if you think I miss any topic, then also comment down below. I will answer in the next video.